Hey, what's up you guys? It is John here, and I have a bit of a game of Invasion on Boneyard. Now, if you happen to watch my other video about this, you might be going, Oh, John, you already posted a video. What's going on? And I'll say, I honestly don't know. I just want to put this one up. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a 27 and 5 game. I also get 3 assists. And I have a few more... I want to say kills that weren't kills, but should have been kills that should have at least been assists. If you guys catch my drift. Like that one right there. I thought that would have been a kill or an assist, but nope. It's all good. And in this game, I will say right out of the gate, we lose. We lose 2 nothing. So you may say to yourself, why show a game where you lose 2 nothing?" And I say, I need help. I need a lot of help from teammates. Because... In this game, I will admit I'm kill whoring. And when you kill whore, you normally don't play the objective that much. So, normally, I play with Skylar. And he is very good at playing the objective. He always goes after it. I always clear out the guys behind him. But with these guys, none of them had mics in. We couldn't have a friendly conversation or talk strategy, whichever one you want to do. And it got slightly annoying. So I guess this, the point of this video is mainly to say, hey, anyone who's out there wants to play a little bit, just hit me up. I'm really in the mood to play some Halo Reach or someone who wants to play. So if any of you guys are up for that, it'd be great. Just send me a message, a friend request, pretty much anything. Gamertag is gluten free too. And... If you guys want to do that, I mean, I'll, I'm game for that, man. I am game for that. Because teamwork kills, especially like these guys right here. A guy I just killed, him and his teammate, are geniuses. They have one camped out in the back of our spawn. So that he can spawn on him and just come right up around. I've never thought of doing that before. And it worked pretty well. He'd always get at least one kill until we realized, hey, there's someone back there. We need to go take him down. It's kind of funny because the guy who's acting as the spawner is like hid perfectly in a corner. I mean, you come back here, you get a quick glimpse, you're like, oh my goodness, there he is. You know, the truth is that if he was probably hiding back there a little better, and he didn't come out, I probably wouldn't have seen him. I would have got a quick glimpse, and it wouldn't have like registered to me that, hey, there's a guy right there. But anyway... Back to my point, like I was saying, if you guys want to play some, send me a message. I'll accept. My only request is that you don't go like negative 20. Because that's a little annoying. It's no big deal. I mean, it's a video game. I'm trying to win, though. But negative 20, it's like, what are you doing? Sitting there sucking on your joystick? Well, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, yeah. But... <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yes, just send me a message, guys. It'd be great. So I like to talk here about the commentary also. Just a little bit of a strategy I picked up from now, from the beginning. And that is when you are defending the second set of bases. It is good to sit in kind of the middle, like third floor mid of the building. Because you kind of have a vantage point over A. If you can lock down A, that leaves your teammates to be free to go lock down B. Unless, of course, your teammates are like mine this game, and five of them can't lock down B. Go figure. But, I mean, we had a pretty good grip on this, I thought, until they're like, hmm, we're going to take this, and they did. So that was not fun on our part. But I just kind of patrol up here. I make sure A stays safe, and... I don't really leave here because leaving here is like suicide. Why would I run out there when everyone's out there to just die? That makes absolutely no sense to me. When people in video games, like on comments, on videos, they're like, hey, less camping. Is it really camping if you're being smart? I mean, let's say I'm sitting inside this building and I see two or three guys just kind of running around. Am I supposed to go out there and kill them all? With 
I don't know, a rocket launcher? Which is a possibility, no doubt. It's just difficult. Because you have two shots, and let's say they're smart, and they kind of spread out when they see you. That's not going to happen. But, alas, it's not a big deal. Who really cares? I have a pretty sick snipe, actually, uh, towards the end of this round. Well, I thought it was sick. Because the guy was doing barrel rolls. And then I got him when he came off his second barrel roll. I know it's pretty basic, but I was proud of it. It made me feel happy. <laughs> I also have a pretty nice triple kill. Where I have a guy flanking me to my right. And I jump down. He follows me. Kill him. Kill his homeboy picking up the uh, core. And then I snipe a guy. So that's another good thing about this vantage point right here. Is that you can see everything. You got those two doors to your left. You can see people hop down. Oh, this is a triple kill right here. He hops down. Sit down. And double sit down. Been out of ammo, so how you can make someone else sit down? Headshot. <laughs> uh, good times. But, like I was saying, up top is a good vantage point. Because you can see the door to your right. You have an easy getaway if someone comes after you to your right. And you don't have a clean shot on them. You can see the two doors down and to your left. I realize I'm making hand motions right now, and I probably look like an idiot. You guys can't even see them, so what's the point of it? But anyway, you can see those two doors to your left on the second floor. You can also see the whole main floor and anyone coming in those doors. So really, you have every entrance covered, except for the one door on the right side on the second floor. One thing you don't want to do when you're up here though, when you have the rockets also, is fire down at enemies when you know their teammates are around. If you do that, you're likely to be stamped with a betrayal and then a boot. And no one likes being booted. I mean, really. So you just want to pick and choose your shots. If you see that you have two teammates down there and there's only one guy, don't even waste ammo, man. Like right here. I see there's one guy, I take one shot, and I realize, hey, there's someone else down there. No reason to take more. You know what I mean? Oh, here's the snipe I was talking about. I was like, oh, I was proud of that. I know it's nothing special, but I was so proud. There's another example of not wasting ammo. I see he's being shot at from every direction, and I think, hmm, probably not going to be able to steal that one, so I'll let him be. I probably could have gotten a couple more kills, but yes. But yes, you have the whole vantage point from up here. You get those two doors, two on the left. If they come in the, like, the roof, you got those. You can move over to the side, get those vantage points. And your money. Your money just like T-Pain. Except for that the Young Money is... Uh, I think Young Money is a real rapper. Or is Young Money Lil Wayne's nickname? I always get confused about that. So Lil Wayne is Wheezy. Lil Wayne, Carter, right? Young Money? I, I don't know. I don't know. I That's kind of embarrassing I don't know, you know? <laughs> uh, but anyway, the round is almost over. We are able to hold them to keeping the core inside the building, which I was quite amazed by because our team is anything but good. And I'm about middle to bottom of the list after the first round. So that was not too special. I thought I would be higher, but I guess I kind of make all my moves on this little set. Because I end up getting two killing sprees, I want to say. And my teammate's not playing from the beginning, so he gets that shot. Uh -huh, good job, teammate. Woo! This is my strategy I like to use when I first come up here. You turn invincibility, get out needler. Because if people stand on the edge, you just unload upon them. Because you're going to get enough needles in them to blow them up, and they won't know what happened by the time you're there. And coming up in this round is a perfect, perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. About, you know, don't go on that suicide mission. Don't try to take down three guys at once, because you are just going to get owned, man. It won't even be funny. You won't even know what hits you. Because I'm going in and out of, invis of invisibility here. And I'm seeing a couple guys all up around here. And this scares the crap out of me. Two guys just like drop down. I mean, what are you going to do about that? Just throw an aid and hope it sticks one. And that's the case right there. 
It stuck someone, so I got lucky. And my teammate's spawning on me, which doesn't help because he moves around. They can see that little dot. Although it's below them, they can see a little, like, gray dot that informs them, hey, there's some guy below you. And that does not help our cause. <laughs> but I'm trying to get up the stairs, and I notice that those stairs are covered in red dots. So I just move to the other stairs and think, hey, I'll move on. I'll take them from behind. That's what she said. So I'm right here. And this is what I like to do. I like to sit right up in this corner right here and watch the right side and then sometimes swing over to the left side. That's the only way that I really know how to play this because if you're doing that, normally if your teammates are halfway decent, they can hold down the zone pretty easily. And this is pretty funny. I kill the guy and I just freak out. Because <laughs> I'm trying to toss nades. I don't have any more nades. And I'm trying to spam the needle rifle trigger and I see that the reticle is like huge and I can't even like fire straight. That's just a bad situation to be in, man. <laughs> that one sucked. So now I'm starting to realize, you know, there's no point. There's there's no really no chance that we can even win. So I'm thinking in my mind, here we go. Should I go like balls out and try to just rush them? Or should I count our losses and go, hey, you know, we lost this one, and should I just kind of take it easy? Right there, it didn't show up, but we had kind of a, I want to say, like, host migration, sort of. The host dashboarded or quit, either one, I don't know. But it brought us that low loading screen. And then afterwards, I'm not sure if you can tell from this, but the game was laggy as hell, man. It was crazy. Like, we, you could barely do anything. I was lucky to live right there. I remember playing this and thinking, holy crap, what am I doing? So I bring out my needle rifle, and in my head, that's what's going through. Like, what am I doing? Everyone's moving around funky, and I'm using a precision weapon. But eventually it tones down, and everyone stops moving around like that. I mean, towards the end, but on the screen right now, right now it looks like everyone's fine, but that was not the case. <laughs> Not even close. That teammate's an idiot right there. You just hit him and he rolls right past him. He's like, nope. And you see his body fly past? That's just a fail, dude. That's sad to watch. So here my teammate realizes it's done also. He's kind of rolling around shooting. I'm shooting at him, trying to get a last minute kill. There's really no point to it. I mean, we had lost. It's kind of counting your losses. Like I said before, though, anyone who wants to play, hit me up. I'm all open for it. Just don't kill my S20, please. <laughs> but anyway, have a good day, you guys. And I shall leave you with the scoreboard. So I hope you enjoy. Remember, hit me up. Have a good day. Peace out.